Cotton insects are the principal cause of yield losses. Estimates indicate that the yield losses due to insect infections would amount to almost 15% of the world's annual production. The most common are the pink blowworm, which withdraws nutrients from the inside of the cotton seed, and as the larva burrows within a ball, lint is cut and stained, resulting in severe quality loss. The Egyptian spiny bollworm and the red bollworm both feed on the developing cotton balls and growth points and flowers. The cotton stainers, which attack the maturing cotton balls and seeds. In addition, feeding wounds may allow the entry to the ball of saprophytic fungi. The white flies, which suck up the sap from the leaves and may result in stunting, poor growth, defoliation, ball shed and reduced shield. Also, the honeydew they produce will reduce cotton quality and difficult processing. The cotton aphid, which infects the cotton seedlings. They suck up sap from the leaves too, and their honeydew secretions may burn the leaves and interfere with photosynthesis. And the nematodes. There are approximately 128 species of nematodes associated with cotton. These parasites live in the soil and withdraw nutrients from the plant roots. Symptoms include stunting, potassium deficiency, or early maturity. The most common diseases in the cotton plant are angular leaf spot, which is favored by wet weather. Disease incidence is higher in plants with injured tissues. It causes stunting and yellowing of the leaf. As diseases progresses, it may result in defoliation. Affected balls are smaller than normal and exhibit small black spots on their surface. The ball rouge, which attacks lower balls near maturity. Warm, humid conditions favor this disease. Affected balls are dark brown with a white or somewhat pink overgrowth. It infects plants that have been previously damaged by insect pests also. Fusarium wilt. Wet weather conditions favor it too. The vascular tissue of infected plants exhibits a brown chocolate discoloration through the main stem. Water conducting stem tissues becomes inactive, causing wilted foliage. Plant death, wilting, yellowing and defoliation are typical symptoms of the disease. Seedling diseases cause seed root rotting, like, for example, cotton root rot. The fungus lives in alkaline soils, low in organic matter. It survives for long periods of time in the soil. It is only active when air and the soil temperatures are high. Infected plants can die in two weeks. The first disease symptom is a slight yellowing of the leaves, which then can quickly turn to a bronze color and begin to wilt.